Kevin still needs to be fired. He needs to be disbarred. I can't stand the man. By the way, I'm live on Spreaker as well as YouTube. Let's go. Hey, you guys. I'm back like I said I would. I want to say shout out to my subbies. Listeners out there who are up with me at 4 a.m. in the morning or 3 or 2 or 1, wherever you are in the U.S. or throughout the world, thank you for supporting me and my channel. I said I would come back to talk about Kevin Steele. And this DA has violated so many laws. And I've just gotten to the point where I say just bar the whole man, just bar him, throw him out of the legal profession. Dude is dangerous. Dude is setting dangerous precedents where anybody can be convicted after going into agreements with DAs, basically stating that on the due process, thrown away, the 14th Amendment, according to this case, really doesn't apply to him. Also, I want to make it clear that if somebody states that I won't prosecute you if you basically admit to something, if you tell me everything about the case, because the case is not really deemed to be really, I can't really prosecute it. I'll give you a deal or I'll just waive your rights if you just admit it. And that's what Bill Cosby did. I want to make this clear. Bill Cosby did not give Quay loose for rape. Quaaludes were popular in the 70s. Many women and men took them to get high while they would interact in sexual activities. And I want to make it also clear that as for people who are victims of sexual abuse, sexual assault, the actual victims, I don't want to, I'm not discounting you all. But I don't believe many of these women from the Bill Cosby case were victims. I believe a lot of these cases were consensual. And I believe that their careers didn't go as planned. The promises wasn't kept. And many of them are just upset because it didn't happen for them as such. What I also want to make clear about the whole thing with Cosby is that when it comes to Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby should have never been friendly with Andrea Constance in the first place. I'm sorry. Like, you could kind of see that something was going on with her. And another thing, too, I want to make it clear that um, this prosecutor only got elected because he promised to convict Bill Cosby. And he did. But I also feel as though Bill Kevin Steele was placed in position to do what he did. I don't think he just was like, I want to be DA, took a bit of the Cosby. I think he did this because somebody said, I'll make you DA if you convict Bill Cosby. And the fact that he did it and the case is thrown out, his whole career is on the line. So this is like the last move for this man to basically save face. Because once the U.S. Supreme Court denies it, which they are because, let's face it, they got a lot of cases that they need to that they need to hit here and something like this an 84 million man that you want to put back in prison no they're not going to do that he messed up and he needs to take the L but see when white supremacists because I believe this means a white supremacist don't get their way what we do is we basically go to the last resort to do what we're doing and his last resort is to put this man back in prison he's disgusting he's a vile human being there were so many things that this man violated and anybody who voted for him I don't know how he got reelected because this man is not going to get reelected in 2020 because I know it was 2005 he got elected and two months later 
Bo Cosby was indicted for Andrea Constant, they had to dig up this old case, archaic case from 11 years. Why couldn't you get the other cases from women that was more recent? That's my issue that I'm having with this whole thing. And Andrea Constance ain't shit. And um, Montgomery County, I would never visit you all. I've heard stories about Montgomery County. I want to make that clear. I've heard a lot of stories about Montgomery County in Pennsylvania. I've known about them for a very long time about their racism. Because one of my close friends used to live out there. And if you're black, even if you're middle class, you go through a lot. And if you're poor and black, you really better be careful. So I knew about how they rolled in generally. But somebody like him can't practice law. He's, he's biased. He can't. And you never hear any other cases about this man and nor his office. Only Bill Cosby. Like, you don't know what he's done before the Bill Cosby trial or since then. Like, to me, he's a loser. He's a loss. He should take many multiple L's. Take multiple L's. You're a loser. You lost. And more importantly, this just set a precedent that. If somebody goes to an agreement to waive their rights for prosecution, for trial, whatever, you can't bring it back. So, I don't like DA Kevin Steele. He needs to be disbarred. I know I'm up in the morning at 4 or 8 a.m. talking recklessly a little bit, but as tired as I am, I am coherent enough to know that D.A. Kevin Steele is not fit to be a district, a district attorney, let alone attorney for the people. And with that being said, I'm going to bed now. Unless I find something else interesting, but I think I'm a little bit too sleepy. I need to go to bed. So it's your girl, Miss Ann Little Corp, signing off. I'm live. Take care. Have a very good day. First of the month, last month of the year. Make it special. Take care.